Hey guys, so this week I have a super creepy 3D stretch mouth clown. So the very first thing I do was highlighted my forehead, cheeks and nose. And I just did this with some white paint or you can use very light foundation if you have it. Then I used my face chart I drew up the day before as a guide to see where I'm going to do the stretch mouth and how I was going to draw the teeth. You're very welcome to take a screenshot of my face chart and keep it for a reference or create your own character with it. But either way, you are absolutely welcome to use my drawing. Then I went in with white paint to do the teeth and I made sure I paid special attention because I really wanted these teeth to be super realistic. Doing teeth with face paint can a lot of times turn out to look very cartoony and it's hard to get the proper anatomy or bone structure for the teeth because they are hard things to replicate. After that I went in the gaps with the black and outlined the teeth and later I'll add some more dimension to that but just make sure you fill in all between the teeth. Keep in mind that down the bottom and up the top of the teeth that's where the gums are going to go but this just helps to find them and not get them so lost in all the whiteness of the teeth. Then I created a reddish pinky gum colour and filled in the gums with this and I make sure that I round off the bottom of the teeth because they aren't sharp in your gums so round them off and then I used a light pink as the lips and just went along the top and the bottom line as the lips so you can just do a thin strip. Then with white paint I painted the little staples in each corner that are pulling the mouth up and then with that I used dark shadows and dragged out lines from each side of the staples and every direction because they would probably most likely be wrinkles in that case if your mouth was being pulled apart. So make sure you blend those lines out so they're not very bold and in between your nostrils to the corners closer to your eyes, drag it out so it makes it look like your cheeks are full and connect those two lines and just make sure it's all blended out so it's even more realistic. Then I went in with a black eyeshadow and shaded in the corners of the teeth so it looked like my teeth were bending back into my mouth like real life teeth. Then I just shaded underneath and above the lips just to add a bit more of that dimension as there would be and shaded some of the teeth. You can stop here and do your own character look with this but I decided to go with the clown. Then I used my blue mascara to do something a bit different from normal black mascara and line my waterline with white paint or if you have it, white eyeliner. Then I start to paint my nose red and start with the eye designs. I then paint the top of my nose red like a normal clown design and do the designs on my eyes. On my left eye I drip down red underneath my waterline and painted a diamond on the top. On my right eye I painted a big blue cross over my eye. You can change it to whatever you like but these are just some designs that I liked and it also reminded me a bit of Suicide Squad. Then with two key colours of blue and red, I did this jester style collar. On the top of each line, I drew a pom-pom and shaded in to make it look a tiny bit fluffy and a bit more textured. I also shaded between each strip to make it look 3D and look like it's coming off my chest. Again, you can change it to however you want. You don't even have to have the collar strip. You don't even have to be this type of character. I would suggest someone like maybe one of your favourite movie characters Say you wanted to do uh, Ariel, you can make her have her mouth ripped open and wear a costume. It's just a really creepy factor and it's quite easy to add to any Halloween costume and it's definitely going to impress. I hope you guys really like this super creepy look and give a thumbs up comment if you like these types of things. If you want to see more gore from me before Halloween, if you want to see any videos I've got, a couple ideas coming up for some really really last minute Halloween costumes so don't worry for those people who think they aren't organized for Halloween yet so I hope you guys really liked it subscribe if you want to support me and thank you so much bye